Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt platform style 4 bike rack, part number C18087. The Kurt 4 bike rack is perfect for the family. It allows us to carry up to four bikes regardless of their size or style. It secures our bikes with one frame hook, making it easy to load and unload our bikes. One of its best features is, it has the ability to tilt away with all four bikes loaded so we can gain access to our rear hatch. To do that, we'll remove the smaller pin first. Next, we'll pull out the larger pin. Just remove the clip. You'll want somebody on the rear end of the bike rack picking up slightly so we can take the pin out and then they can lower the bike rack down until it rests. Once it's tilted away, you can see that we're going to have no problem getting to our rear hatch to remove any cargo, gear, groceries, anything we might have with us on our trip. If we remove the two shank bolts here in the middle, it can easily be converted to a two bike rack. This reduces the weight of the rack and the length, giving you more clearance here at the rear. With it removed, the shank bolt holes get capped along with the rear of the shank, preventing dirt and grime from getting inside. Each wheel cradle is adjustable to accommodate wheel bases of different lengths. Once you have it set where you want, just tighten up the hand knob. All four frame hooks are adjustable independently to work with a wide variety of bikes. They each feature padding so they don't scratch or harm our bikes. Each frame hook also features a lock with two keys included so we can secure our bikes when we're not there. Here at the front, the shank features a 10 inch rise. That's gonna give us all the clearance we need here at the rear of our rack. The anti-rattle bolt's gonna help reduce all the play and rattle within our receiver tube and our bike rack to make a nice solid ride for our bikes. As you can see, I'm shaking it a little bit there and the whole vehicle is moving along with it. As you can see, it's a sizable bike rack. With it installed in your vehicle, it has another stowable option. The whole thing actually folds up against our vehicle for compact storage. To do that, we'll first want to lower down the two center masts. Start by disconnecting the clips and then pulling out the pins. Once they're tilted away, we can replace the pins and clips, locking them in position. Now we can remove the large pin. And we don't have to worry about it tilting away because the smaller safety pin is still in place. To make it easier to pull out, you can slightly pick up on the rack. Now the whole thing folds up. Once we get it up to the top, we can reinsert that pin and clip, preventing it from tilting back away. Now this is ideal for pulling in your garage or a close quarter parking spot. Now we'll give you some dimensions. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the end of the rack measures about 54 inches. Without the extension from the center of the hitch pin hole, to the two bike rack is about 34 inches. With it folded up from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outside of the rack is about 21 inches. The Kurt platform style four bike rack is made out of a sturdy steel construction with a black powder coat finish so it's gonna be strong, durable, and rust resistant. Now that we go into the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Now this is gonna be for two inch by two inch receivers only. Right now, we've got it in the stowed position. This is the ideal position for stowing it in your garage or your basement. Now it does weigh 86 pounds, so if you need an extra set of hands, that's okay. Once we've got our pinholes aligned, we can then take our included anti-rattle bolt and start threading that through here on the passenger side. Once you get it hand tightened, you can take your included wrench and tighten it the rest of the way down. Here on the other side, we can put on our clip. Now in preparation for loading our bikes, we'll need to lower down the arms. The way we do that is we can pull the clip away and then pull out the pin, lower it down, realigning the holes, and then put the pin and clip back in place. Then 
we can just repeat the same process with the rear arms. With the arms down, let's go ahead and raise up the hooks and then load up our first bike. To raise them up, we'll press in on the button, raise them all the way up and out of the way. Now there's two ways you can load up your bike. You can either load it up with a center mast up like this, or you can take off the clip, remove the pin, lower it backward. By doing that, it gives you enough room to set your bike in place. Once it's in place, we can then raise it back up, lower down one of the hooks, and then replace our pin. With the pin back in place, we can give our hook one more good push and then lock it in place. And then our first bike is loaded up and secure. I've gone ahead and loaded up three more bikes the exact same way. You'll wanna be sure and alternate the handlebars. Let's go ahead and take it out on our test course and see how it performs. Here on our test course, let's first go into our slalom. This is gonna show side to side action, such as going over potholes or uneven pavement. Then onto our solid speed bumps. This is gonna show an up and down action. This is gonna show an up and down action such as pulling in and out of a driveway or out of a parking lot. Then finally onto our alternating speed bumps. This is gonna show a twisting action such as going over potholes or uneven pavement. And that's going to complete our look at the Kurt Platform Style 4 Bike Rack, part number C180087.